many people may not know, but 3D printing was used to print the nasal swabs. Singapore, like the rest of the world, is facing unprecedented challenges and problems. Food security, aging society, climate change, clean energy, water, just to name a few. We want to train our students to be able to not only understand the problems, but be able to deliver solutions to make a better world by design. Second, a typical EPD student would have undergone 25 to 30 projects through the four years at SUTD. And we believe the hands-on, the opportunity to work on project will allow them to understand all the tools at their disposal, but also be not afraid of working with their hands-on. Engineering Design Innovation is our flagship program where we put our students through both the understanding of design to solve a problem, but also through a project where hands-on is involved. So they take their design through modeling, through conception, and finally to realization in the form of a prototype. Beyond engineering, we also want our students to be trained in other aspects like even ethical issues. Sometimes a better solution may not be just technical or helping the company to make profits, but also looking at the impact to society. I want to illustrate the example of Professor Michinao Hashimoto. He has done 3D printing of chocolate and milk. Now he has actually implemented his work right now of practical use to Kutikwat Hospital where patients suffering from stroke or dementia need a diet that is pure reform which will not choke the patients. We have just launched a new track this year. It is called Beyond Industry 4.0. In the last 300 years, Industry 1.0 have moved on to 4.0. In the first two, where it took about 100 years, the last has actually taken only 50 years. You can see it's compressed and a 5.0 could be upon us anytime, and which is why we call our new track Beyond Industry 4.0. And it's important for our students, a new breed of engineers who will go out there and transform the industry to understand all the competencies. So it's not about the book knowledge that you learn, but the attitude that you show, the mindset. The values and attributes that we inculcate in our students extends beyond what they learn. With the rapid change, in science and technology, what they have learned in university in 5 to 10 years would possibly have become obsolete. So it's important for them to have the ability to learn, relearn and unlearn. To question the norm is also something we in inculcate in our students when they approach a problem. And this is what makes SUTD graduates unique. I am Professor Chua Chi Kai, Head of Pillar for Engineering Product Development. If you aspire to be a design engineer and solve real-world problems with product innovation, join us.